Today's a Tuesday, October the 10th. So I believe I just uh, um, saw that I've described in the past. I've had several encounters with a guy who I believe is most likely an angel. Um, so I've already I've described this in the past where literally... He, he would approach me at um, inside of, a, you know, stores randomly out of the blue. And um, it's it's uh, there was a several year break where I hadn't seen him in our and I would brought that up in the past where all of a sudden he started showing up. Um, was about two or three maybe a couple of years ago, he started showing up all of a sudden, suddenly. And, and then there's been, then I, you know, I haven't mentioned him recently. And then, then literally at a certain point, I even, I brought him up in a video again. Um, I, uh, brought him up at one time and literally the, it was the, I believe the very next day he literally showed up, approached me. And this was at, uh, very early in the morning, like seven or seven thirty, seven seven fifteen, seven thirty. This this that particular store is pretty much like no one around at that time. And that guy, I believe he's most likely an angel. He had came up, but now what just happened? I was at the same store where I've mostly encountered this guy. Now there's one other a Walmart. I didn't encounter him the very first time he approached me. But in all these encounters, he's never uh, he's never carrying any items. He doesn't appear to be shopping. He doesn't have a cart. He doesn't have items. It's like he's just coming up to me to approach me to talk. So I do believe this is very most likely an angel. Now what just happened? So I was I was in the uh, I was leave I was a uh, walking down, getting ready to exit the end of an aisle, and what happened was the same uh i believe it was the same guy i believe he's an angel he he didn't come up to me but i was about getting ready to exit the aisle about mm, maybe three three yards from exiting and he walked past the aisle and um he walked past the aisle and He did not turn down my aisle. Now we made um we made eye contact. Clearly, we both made eye contact. And this look I'm pretty sure this was the exact same guy, the f- completely same facial features, everything. Because I I I've I know I have his face stored in my memory. Because I'm pretty certain that this guy's probably an angel. And now here's it. and so he walked by. We both made eye contact. I proceeded to exit the aisle and I carefully observed him, you know, up and down looking for the same, you know, features and um it looked like the exact same guy. And here's what I noticed. Now the one difference the one difference this time he was wearing he was holding um the cap he was holding was different. So in two or three at a times he had like a, a fedora one time he was wearing it then one time he was holding it in his hand when he approached me now then one time he had a uh, like a uh, the time he was in a car and he randomly just drives up to me in the parking lot starts talking to me he had a uh, um, I believe it was a, a baseball cap on and it looked like potentially that the crimson tide um, now this time, what caught my attention, what he was holding was different and it looked like a boonie hat from what I can tell. And it looked like lighter toned. And here's the thing, the boonie hats, these have a military connection and actually specifically to Vietnam. So he, when he was, I was examining him as he was walking away. I'm like, that's, that's not the same hat that though. But it's it's the same characteristic. This guy, one or two times, he was actually holding the fedora in his hand 
one time he was wearing it and then the one time in the car when he randomly just comes driving up to me randomly in the parking lot the timing was just perfect right when I was exiting you know walking out of the store and then that time he was wearing a uh, more of a baseball cap but this looked like a boonie cap and here's the thing the boonie cap has connections i already knew that this had connections to vietnam uh introduced to you in united states armed forces during the vietnam war uh when green berets be began wearing them so it was introduced to the u.s armed forces during the vietnam war this particular style of cap and it looked from what i can tell it looked like that so i believe if if this is a Tr was truly the same guy which i'm pretty certain it was i stored his facial characteristics everything is already stored in my memory and i'm the type of person i pay very close attention to fine details and so i noticed as he was walking away he was holding a different cap it wasn't a fedora it was not a baseball cap it looked like a boonie cap so we're getting really close be prepared I believe this is going to escalate and just stay strong in the Lord no matter what happens. We're getting really close to the finish line. A God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.